when you go out and hit on the backboard, the most important thing to getting a good rally going so you can get a good workout is that you have to establish rhythm. And uh, if you try saying it out loud, every time the ball hits your strings, say hit. Every time the ball hits the wall, say hit. And then when it hits the ground, say bounce. And then say, and then repeat it. Now, if you do it on a two bounce rhythm, then it's just like playing baseline tennis. If you're playing on the baseline and you're playing in a real tennis game, you hit, it goes over the net, it bounces, they hit, it comes over the net, and it bounces. So there's four beats. Then you hit, bounce, hit, bounce, hit, bounce, right? So on the wall, what you do is you, you change the, uh, the order slightly, but the rhythm's the same. So I go bounce, hit, hit, bounce, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, bounce, hit, hit, bounce. If you want to play at a faster rhythm, then you can either stay there and do it on one bounce or move a little closer. I'm going to move a little closer and do it on one bounce. Hit, 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 bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce, hit, hit, bounce. You do that for about 10 minutes and you tell me if you don't feel like you're getting a little bit of exercise because it, a lot of times in sports, things that look super easy, actually if you do them, repeat them like a hundred times, they kind of get physical. So uh, like a golf stroke in and of itself, whoosh, doesn't look that tough to me. But if you had to do it 50 times in a row, it might be pretty tough. So that's what happens with, with hitting on a backboard is you get a chance to work on a skill and you literally can just repeat the skill until you're tired of playing and you want to go home. I always look at my watch. I come out and I say, I determine how long I'm going to play. Say, okay, I got time for 45 minutes. I'm going to do 45. And if I feel like I really want to work out, I'll go an hour. And I will absolutely, positively guarantee you that if you come out here and work for an hour on this thing, you will come off the court sweating and tired. If, unless you're just, all you're doing is picking up balls. If you're actually hitting the ball back and forth for that long, you're going to get a lot of exercise.